Fred here, welcome back to the Gear Obsession channel. What I have here for you today is the Denso G7392-CF. Gearbest sent me this for review. However, it will in no way influence my review. I'll give you the good, the bad, the ugly, and the stuff I really like. And I'll tell you, right out of the box, I love this knife. And the reason why I personally like it, and again, this is kind of subjective because a lot of this has to do with the looks of this knife, is stone wash finish, flat grind, carbon fiber scales, axis lock with Omega Springs with the perfect tension. That means for me, you know, you, you have some that have an Omega Spring that's really tight and requires you to take both fingers and, and pull back on that axis lock to follow to fold it. One finger. See that? Perfect. And comes right out. I did not oil this. I did not adjust this. The uh, blade centering is perfect. Lockup is perfect. I'll tell you, I love this knife right out of the box. I forgot to almost tell you the greatest thing about this knife. $16.97. Did you hear that? $16.97 from Gearbest. And that's with free shipping. Now that free shipping is a little slow. That's their base shipping. So if you want to get it quicker around the world from China, you'll have to pay, you know, for DHL, which will get it to your doorstep really quick, but it does cost a little bit. Here's the box that it came in. And inside that box was sort of another half box. And in that box was a pouch that had the knife wrapped up in this bubble wrap. And they also give you the silica gel to keep things nice and dry. So the handle is 4.7 inches. You have carbon fiber scales on both sides with stainless steel liners. You have an access lock right there. Again, it's held with those springs that they call Omega Springs. You have a pivot screw right there that's adjustable. Torque screw construction. Open pillar design. You have a reversible clip. However, it is tip up carry only. Tip the, uh, I'm sorry, the clip, <laughs> having a hard time getting words out today, is held on by three torque screws. You can see the holes on the other side, and you'll have to excuse the rain. There is a, a bit of a thunderstorm going on outside, so if you hear a crash where the lights go out, I apologize ahead of time. Um, huge lanyard hole right there. You should have no problem getting 550 cord through there. And jimping, lots of jimping on the back and on the front right there let's go ahead and open this up look at that it just flies right open now the first thing I notice is that the jimping on the front of the handle comes up the thumb ramp on the blade right there now it's not too aggressive up there but it is a you know, mild ramp and the jimping is barely functional but the jimping here on the handle is aggressive so you know it definitely has some traction to prevent your hand from slipping if you're using this knife to stab now the blade is 3.4 inches long it is a drop point you have a flat grind comes up to here so you have a little flat area left on top so if you have a sharpening device that clamps on, you do have some flat area up there for you to uh, keep things straight. Your steel is 440C stainless steel, so that's a, a very good mid-grade steel. Has good edge retention, it has good corrosion resistance. And what I really like, this gorgeous stone wash finish. Just take a look at that. It's just so nice. Take a look at the carbon fiber. I just love the way these two types of finishes go together. I love it. 
Now you have ambidextrous thumb studs. Those are the step pyramid type. They work very well. I had no problem getting my thumb behind there. There's enough space between the scales and that thumb stud to get your finger there and it flies open as if it were an automatic. It opens very, very fast, but it's not automatic. Choil right there for sharpening, not for your finger, but for sharpening on a stone. You don't have any problem butting up against the shoulder or the, the handle there. And um, washers. Let's talk about washers. I don't know if you can see there, so I have a picture where you can sort of see, it's kind of weird, and this is the case with a lot of Ganzo knives, that you have one washer that is Teflon and the other one is phosphor bronze. Kind of strange that they do that, but I'll tell you, it keeps things straight. It keeps things smooth. Speaking of straight and smooth, we'll go ahead and slip on to the actual testing part of this video. Look at that. Blade centering is perfect. Perfect. Retention is very good. Typical of an access lock. If you give it enough of a whip, you will get it open. So let's go ahead and try that. There we go. So you can still do that. Like I said, the Omega Spring tension is perfect on this. No up and down play. No side to side play. Really just perfect. So far perfect. I haven't found a flaw. I'm amazed. Let's try sharpness here. Well, we're push cutting there. See that? I'm just pulling the paper. So Very sharp. Let's see if it's shaving sharp. We'll go ahead and grab some hair. Let's see if we get you. Ooh, I feel it pulling. <laughs> wow! Look at that. I just shaved with this. This is shaving sharp. It's amazing. I'm amazed. <laughs> and amused. Alright, last thing. I always do this. People complain a well. Get stabbed there. There we go. Alright. Alright, so I do that just to see if the uh, heat treatment is done well. Probably a little overly aggressive, but you know what? Point held up perfect, so I feel confident that the heat treatment has been done right. Just wanted to show you the back there real quick before we wrap things up so you can sort of see the blade stop there. Man, I'll tell you, you can't beat this one with a baseball bat. <laughs> I don't know if I could think of a con. Uh, I really am not seeing it. I don't know if you could consider that weird thing with the washers, one and the other, but you know, Ganzo does that all the time. I Okay, I'm digging here, but I wish the jimping right here on the thumb ramp was just a little teeny bit more aggressive, just a little bit, because the carbon fiber scales are smooth so you don't have an enormous amount of things to provide a good purchase and good traction so when you're stabbing you know I just a little bit more of something to maybe keep your hand from slipping I forgot to talk about er ergos real quick ergonomics if you grip this super super tight you might feel just a little bit you know of of it biting in a little bit but I mean you gotta hold this thing tight in order to feel it because the edges are beveled you know there's nothing weird or anything there's no hot spots on this knife at all and reverse grip especially because you got the jimping there and the shape of this handle it's perfect it's perfect I love the shape of this handle I love this knife this is going into my uh, EDC my everyday carry drawer in the closet before I walk out the door I'm like okay I think this carbon fiber will match my outfit today <laughs> I love it I love it and you can get one too at gear best I went ahead and put a link in the description box below and amazing price amazing price sixteen dollars and ninety seven cents how can you go wrong for an, for a good looking very good well built great materials you, I, I don't see how you could go wrong. Uh, please feel free to put your comments below. Uh, anybody that has experience with this knife, uh, let other folks know how good, how your mileage varied with this particular Ganzo knife. That's the Ganzo 
G792-CF, CF steady for carbon fiber. Thank you very much for joining me here at the Europe Session channel. I really do appreciate every friend of you as a subscriber, and especially you. And I hope you have a great day. Take care. Bye.